Welcome back, Ryan Costine here on Serious Gaming, doing my walkthrough of Age Wonders 3 on the hard difficulty. I spent about half an hour chasing this bastard down, taking his cities, and finally taking his capital and uh, taking him out right here. And that's it. The battle is won. I have always liked the kindness of Theocrats. You have shown me the other side. Thank the gods I have the Wemus done. My destiny is fulfilled. Remember this day, friends. It is the day the old ways died. The Commonwealth is victorious. The Elven Court has been defeated. Defeat Fidral. Defeat the Elven Court. Return to map. And that's about it. Really, uh, the battle is won. The battle is won. Let me make a save game. Um, Elven Court Defeat. Yes, just like that. Elven Court has been defeated. The Commonwealth prevails. I proclaim this war ended. The Elven Court is no more. Let them be remembered as fiends in the tomes of history. King Saridus is dead. The bodies of his court nourish the twisted roots of their dark woodlands. The people celebrate this day when pomp and privilege died. With the destruction of the Elven Court, the conspiracy that caused such festering hatred falls apart. As I suspected, the fools associated with the Shadowborn have renounced their allegiances, and I have been generous to pardon the mobs of desperate High Elves who swear obedience to Commonwealth. This day, the old ways are forgotten. With the worst behind us, I look to a calmer future, focused on solving the problems of commoners. I have consulted with my most trusted advisors, and already we have a hundred new ideas. We will adapt the machines with their mana fuel cells to be capable of harvesting fields of grain. Imagine buildings of gears and mechanical arms dedicated to spinning homely cloth or baking pastries filled with sweet cream for every child in the kingdom. We shall build schools and train every man who is capable to build and repair and create new machines, inventions for everyone's benefit. Thus begins a new era of prosperity, not for a few, but for all. My dreams evaporated. I am withered beyond my years. I have not written for decades. I thought to end with the joy of a new age, but that time of peace collapsed into a hellish sinkhole of greed and destruction. Mana is scarce now. The people rebel. They are like spoiled children whose toys and sweets have been taken away. They blame me. The Shadowborn Conspiracy that I thought decimated after my conquest of the Elven Court has regained power in the Sunbirth region. My immortal nemesis, Wurlak, who lurked for decades in a cursed exile, has gained enough power to reactivate the last Shadow Gate. Something bad is coming. What if I had made a different choice? I miss Larissa. She tried to warn me of this fate. I am old and cannot remember her face anymore. There is only emptiness. I have gathered one last desperate force to try to stop them, but I do not expect a miracle. In this age, only cruel gods reign. I have no allies. We die as martyrs to be forgotten. If this is the last entry of my journal, then know that I have failed and the world is lost. Hmm. I see. So that's the wrong choice. I see. Very well. I was expecting something different, to be honest. Oh well. Well, there are roads not taken. Paths not yet tre uh, treaded. I am disappointed by that actually. 
But I guess Edward was naive, <laughs> wasn't he? Really naive. So. Truth must prevail. That's why I chose to join Larissa. The Shadowborn are pitting the Commonwealth against the Elven Court. They've infiltrated the highest offices in both empires. Valerie returned to the capital after I refused to slay Larissa. She's outraged that I would sympathize with the Torchbearers. I hope that someday she'll see that I act in the best interest of the Commonwealth. Merlin is here. I don't know whether I'm comfortable with this fellow, but Larissa trusts him. The draconian Karashar was Wurlach's enforcer. Larissa says Wurlach left him to rebuild the Shadow Gate. These Shadowborn aim to weaken us all until they have the power to open a portal to the Shadow Realm. Merlin gets particularly ominous about this, sounding almost paranoid. He's convinced the ancient wizard kings seek to reclaim this world. It begs the question, how many other Shadowborn plots are yet to be uncovered? Uh, quite a few, I bet. What? But... What the hell did I do? Oh, I clicked the wrong button, I bet. Truth must prevail. That's why. Okay, here we go. With the Emperor's mission abandoned, Shadowborn agents are spinning lies against me. My lands in Briska have been confiscated. Larissa, Salthor, and I fled to a place where the torchbearers are safe to plot our next move. Merlin led us to the Sapphire Archipelago. There I met with Sundran of House Ineoch, daughter of King Saradas of the Elven Court. She discovered the Shadowborn plot against her people and founded the torchbearers. The Shadowborn are building shrines across this land dedicated to the lost wizards. These wizard gods give power to their supplicants, helping them fight. They don't care who wins, just that the fighting persists. Sundran gave me a list of known Shadowborn operatives. Unfortunately, Wurlach is still on that list. In order to succeed, Sundran believes we must spread the torchbearers across both nations to stop the war. Sundran will do her part, and I must expose the treachery in the hearts of those closest to the Emperor. The problem is how to explain it all. Valerie left because I sided with Larissa. Valerie is no Shadowborn, but believes war is the only answer to Elven Court treachery. She sees talking as a sign of weakness. For many, only weapons speak. Hmm. But what happened with Dwemus and Valerie? I'm just curious what happened with Dwemus and Valerie in that uh, Commonwealth ending. Although I guess uh, what really led to Edward's downfall in the Commonwealth campaign is that he spent too much mana. <laughs> uh, too many things. Trying to better everyone's lives. Hmm. While Sundran, my torchbearer ally, moves with the dwarves to counter the Shadowborn forces embedded deep in the Commonwealth. My mission is to establish a safe haven at the Rock Shoal Islands. We will need to raise a force so we can fight the secretive cult that breeds hatred and stop two empires from destroying the world. The move against the rival empires cannot be delayed. I've decided to accompany Salthor to the Rock Shoal Islands, home to a patchwork of small realms. This remote archipelago lies in contested seas between the Commonwealth and the Elven Court. The fiercely independent locals have resisted threats from both parties. If we make haste, they may side with us. An Orcish Isle has sent a messenger to Salthor claiming a blood oath, demanding he give them aid. I have instructed Salthor that the torchbearers need to pursue diplomatic options, and we should try to avoid the traditional methods of Orcish conflict resolution. Salthor was insulted, claiming he's cleverer than the stereotype I hold. The Rock Shoal Islands are rich with resources for shipbuilding. Fleets of vessels capable of securing the waters will be necessary to slow both empires. Refugees fleeing the war will be able to gather here. Strategically, controlling the seas will force the Elven Court and Commonwealth to move more slowly over land and delay their war. If we can gather support among both sides of this conflict, it may be possible to convince them to follow a more peaceful solution. 
Alright then. So I have to defeat both of them. Ah. So these are the Rakshol Isles. Famed for the independence of their inhabitants. Things will soon change now that both the Elven Court and the Commonwealth have set foot here. They both fight for supremacy over the seas. I must not let that happen. My spies have told me about a dam um, at one of the cities of uh, Rishkian, the Elven Court, Draconian. The, that dam is the only thing between the city and the big water reservoir to the north. By blowing it up, we'll surely flood the city. This is a wee easy way to weaken him. It may even be possible to pin the blame on someone else. Though we probably can just eliminate all the others in the area and take uh, the Isles by force, it might be smart to try and get one of the others to join our side. Not only will our quest to take the Isles be easier, but the torch bearers will be stronger overall. Okay, so we've got Edward, we've got Larissa. You can go, Larissa. And we've got Sulfur. Right. Hmm. So, what will I do? Well, we've. I'll get Charm. All units gain urban concealment. Not that useful. And yeah, it's probably gonna be useful. All units. Yeah, sure. Night vision. Armor piercing. Hmm. Let me get HP. Quite a bit of, uh, of it on him. And then on uh, Edward, range strength, uh, destabilize ma mana core, um, summon siege engine, okay, imperial authority, and of course I need invention to go along with that, rapid reload, yeah. More HP, more HP, and more range strength. It is necessary to get some defense as well. That's about it. Orissa, hmm. Really, where to begin? Where to begin with her? Um, oh, get this, uh, because it's going to be very useful here. Hmm. What does he have at the moment? He's got the cudgel, uh, okay. And okay. We've got quite a few places to clear out here. All right, I lost the North Great Sword. Gain the war though. In the warg. Hmm. Alright, let's get cloak and dagger. Peace Treaty. Hmm. 
My loyalties are still with the Commonwealth. Not the fucking elves. Okay, chain lightning. Let's uh, get sorcery on her. strength hmm. regards to the bad ending I got uh, for that other campaign uh, for you know for the path I took I kind of suspected it would be like that the moment you were killing Julia <laughs> let me just let me just say that Julia has been a main character in the series since Age of Wonders 1 killing her you know things are going to hell. People really don't know that they're going to hell if you're killing her inside of a campaign. Now. Hmm. Well, I'll um, upgrade this and then. Lord, we've got the baby Kraken. They're asking for 350. Okay, then. get here hmm fucking unicorns iron grip Let them run. And the reason I let them run is to gain um, better reputation with uh, the locals, so to speak. Just like that. I'm going to send Larissa back, or maybe I want to send her across the seas to take command of this settlement. Um, maybe should be. Oh, there is actually an underground level. Okay, that's a bit weird if you're asking me. It's like an underground level in and the open seas, it's um, quite weird. Oh. Interesting. And so this is here. Might just be the first real... Might just be the first map which really does require you to use the underground. <laughs> Alright, 
that case. Moves a lot smoother, I can tell you that for a fact. So we've got boars, boar, uh, ogre. Let's fight. I've had enough of the casualties I've been getting and without the resolve. What do rogues get anyway? Succubus, I guess? Or something along those lines. In terms of like high end units. Really high end units. Okay. Right, so it's been charmed. You probably will kill my or not. Mm, no casualties and I also gained the unit. Mm, spirit protection. Nah, sell for gold. It's not that useful. Draconians. Assassins, hey you! You're sulfurous guys, aren't you? What are you guys doing down here? Who are you? Us? We're just some specialist uh, troops. Rishkian doesn't seem to appreciate our uh, tactics, so the oath exiled us. He ordered us um, out through the cave south here and told us to never uh, return. I had the girl there as um, at, at the dam curse him. I'll never see her again. Do you want revenge? Revenge? How? What you're planning to do? Wait and see. Well, some troops for free even. There's a camp over there, and I probably need to destroy it if I am to do anything around here. Oh! Well, Edward is going to take control over there. Yes, take the cloak and the dwarf prospector as well. And let's also upgrade them. Ring strength. Great swords, uh, orc spearmen as well. You know, this place would actually be a good uh, spot for a um, city. I mean, you've got gold mine, 
gold mine, you've got the ancient ruins, you've got a, a bunch of uh, stuff. And also there's a refugee camp there, which is going to be quite useful uh, in expanding here. So many turns. Assassin, High Elf Scoundrel. Okay, then. How many turns until? Seven turns until it expands. Okay. I hope I don't lose Larissa. Oh. Well. Uh, Quite a lot. Three hundred and fifty. Don't quite have that money right now. I will have it soon enough, though. Now I take this mine. Close. I've got the goblin assassin on my part. Against them? What chance do I have? Panic attack. Well, let them do what they can. I can see why. Oh, they flood. Yeah, those assassins are actually pretty powerful. <laughs> Some gold. Okay. I think I'll put it over here. This place. Actually, I want to take that out. Chains. Aren't they lovely? Arbor will be useful. But for now, let's focus on getting build points. Okay. Oh, and before I just roll a whole deck, all that I've spent so many. What the hell? This island barely has anything on it, except for that. <laughs> Plus 
hostile fuckers. They're well aware of their strategic position. Now. Let me get... Actually housing. Because why not? Oh, there's something useful there. Alright, so we'll go with those units. Just trying to explore here. I don't know how a war will look in the end game, but I bet it won't be that pleasant. Can't be as bad as it. <laughs> can't be as bad as the Elven War was. Invading the high elf homeland and all that stuff. Your turn, independence. Dumbalistas. Down and go. That's it. If I take out this band, it can't. Uh, quell the rebellion. Probable defeat, and for good reason. Hmm. I don't know if I can do it. It will be problematic to try and achieve it. Meanwhile, on the surface, our things looking on the surface. Well, let's get a mine. Okay, uh, that's about it, isn't it? Let them run. Take reward, okay. Need that quarry as well. Battle is won. Take the Hellhound. Good. And that's about it. Costine here on Serious Gaming signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more. Far more. I've only just begun. On this side at least.
And it's just going to be what? Two missions and that's it? Right? I guess so.